Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to use Grammarly and Grammarly is an assistant for your writing. So it's an AI power writing assistant and it comes with a free plugin for the web. So for example, if you use Google Chrome, what I'm using right here to browse the internet and go to grammarly.com, it's automatically going to detect and recommend that you get the Chrome plugin. If I was using Safari, for example, it's going to recommend I get the Safari plugin. And if you go on a mobile device, it's going to recommend you get the app for iOS or Android. In this video, I want to just focus on Grammarly.com and using it on the internet. And that will basically solve your grammar and spelling issues in things like Gmail, Google Docs and your social media, everything that's basically listed here and more. And it's just not for spelling. It actually eliminates errors and finds other words to express yourself. And that's all for free. And let me show you a couple of other things that Grammarly offers. And that is Grammarly Premium. Let me go ahead and click that just to show you what that is before I show you the free plugin. This basically elevates your writing even more. So you could use it if you're a professional writer, for example, or if you want to get more benefits. Here is the features that compares to the free model. So you get readability, vocabulary enhancement suggestions, and some of these other things that don't come with the free version. So you could go ahead and check this out for yourself and they do run deals all the time. And I'll link to this in the description below for you. So you could just simply get it. I believe you could pay monthly or you could pay for a whole year here if you wanna use a premium plan. But I recommend you try the free plan here as well. And there are desktop apps as well. So I'm on a Mac here, so it will auto detect that I could get this version. Again, I'm gonna just focus on the browser plugin here. And there's Grammarly for Microsoft Office too. I'm on a Mac here, so it's not supported, but for Windows, you could also get that. So all those are on the bottom of the page. So again, you could jump into my affiliate link here and then it will bring you to Grammarly and you could sign up completely for free. And if you do get the premium version, that could be also through the browser link down here. So let me go ahead and add it to Chrome. Then I'll show you exactly how to use it. And it's a Chrome extension in my case. Again, like I said, you could use any browser that you want and you'll have an extension for it. And you could go ahead and sign in with Google, Facebook, or your email here. Let me go ahead and sign in. And some of these you could skip here, but let me go ahead and fill this out here. And here it's gonna again let you know about Grammarly Premium here and show you some of the things that the free version does not cover. So this is a freemium model, meaning they give you a little bit for free that should take care of most basic problems like spelling and grammar, but every other thing like overused words, plagiarism, all those are included in the paid upgrade. I'm gonna do the free one right here. And as I mentioned before, this will work on Gmail, for example, if you're using Gmail to draft the email, basically anything you do online, this Grammarly plugin will work for, including Google Docs, so if you're drafting Docs there, but if you wanna take it outside, then I recommend getting the desktop app and the premium version if you're doing things outside of the web. But let's take a look. The most basic things that you could do with Grammarly is spell check. So right now you could see the things that are underlined here are spell check. So you could see what it's gonna recommend. This is the correct spelling, so I could fix it just like that. And then it's gonna have a list of other things here so I could go to each one and then go ahead and change it. Again, based on grammar and spelling. So just like that. Here it has extra space that it detected so I could click here to remove that space. Here is past tense and I could go ahead and show it the correct version here. And the blue items here, they're gonna make it more clear by changing the grammar. So it's gonna say change this to blue underline instead of underlines that are blue. So if I could just fix that that way. So you get the idea here, but I wanna show you a real life application here and take it to Google Docs so I could show you outside of the Grammarly what it could done. So what if you wanna check your own text and not the demo text here? It's simple. You'll have this little icon that you just got from downloading the plugin. So if you click this, you can start with a new document. And if you press this, it's gonna bring you to a blank page. So I could go ahead and copy and paste something here. Again, this does work on separate applications as well. So I'll show you in a second what it looks like in Gmail. But let me go ahead and type a brief text here and then I'll show you what happens next. So I'll just go ahead and go to a different document and let me just copy this section here. And I'm gonna go ahead and press Command C on the Mac here and bring it over here and press Command V. On a PC it's Control V and Control C. 
Now, the first time I use this, it's going to give me some default option. Your audience, your formality, your tone. I could either reset these to default or I could select what I want and then press done. So I found a couple of issues for me. So Vietnam War is recommending to change that to the Vietnam War. So I'll just click here to change that. In fact, over here, it says to remove it completely. So I'll go ahead and remove it completely. And that's all it found for this section of my text from the book. And it's gonna recommend things that only the premium version are gonna be able to do, like three additional writing issues here, such as wordy sentences here. So this is not gonna solve it with the free option, but the free option did check a couple of things for spelling and for grammar. And then it's gonna set you a overall score here. So this is really good to look at to make sure you're as close to 100 as you can. And you do have some options on the bottom of this page to make things bold, for example, if you wanted to underline headline, adding links, and then creating number or bullet point list all on the bottom of this page. And it's gonna give you a word count, your character counts, and your readability score right on the bottom of the page. And let me show you how to see all the documents that you've actually corrected here. If you go to this plugin icon one more time, you could go to your Grammarly home, and as long as you're locked into app.grammarly.com, you'll see everything that you've done, the demo document and the new one I just added here. And you could go ahead and create a new one or upload a document right over here using these options. And as you could see here, I'm on a Mac here, so it's recommending that I install it on my Mac as well, so I could always do that. And this has your regular settings like logging out and your account information right on the side here. So that's all we're gonna focus on, but let me jump into Gmail to show you what happens when you make mistakes there drafting an email. So let me press compose an email here on Gmail and Grammarly automatically detected that I'm using Gmail. So it's gonna let me personalize it if I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and skip for now, but you could go ahead and go through this process if you want. Let me go ahead and paste a different piece of text here and show you what happens with Grammarly. So let me go ahead and paste this little section of the book and then I'll do command V over here again. And then Grammarly is plugged in right here. So it's gonna do its work and then it's gonna give you recommendation and enhancements. In this case, it's gonna tell me I need to make it more clear. And if I click that, it's gonna bring it to the Grammarly plugin for Gmail and I can make my changes right here. The same way the demo showed you, things are gonna pop up right here. You could click it and make the changes. And some things are gonna be part of the premium version, but your overall score, and again, those basic things like correctness, clarity is all here as part of the free version. Now I could just go back to Gmail over here, and now I know everything that I typed out is accurately scanned by Grammarly, so you could see that down here. And the premium version is gonna give you a star right here, so things like advanced corrections are gonna be part of that premium once again. I just jumped into a script for a YouTube video here, and this is on Google Docs, so I have to turn on Grammarly here. It looks like it's pretty new for Google Docs, so let me go ahead and turn it on. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna let it check it out. Again, usually on the corner of the page, depending on what page you're on, on Facebook, if you're doing a tweet, it's gonna be working in the corner over here. And I cut the rest of this document so it could work a little bit faster for this demo, but it found one issue here. And all I have to do, instead of coming over here, I could just click on it. A lot of times in different apps, you could just click on it and make the changes right here. And you don't have to open the Grammarly window, so I could just make the change right here. And let me jump back to the demo doc where we first started doing everything. And usually when you're using this one, that's where you basically press the Grammarly icon and make a new document that will bring you to this page where you could paste text. There's options on the left side of it here too, where you could jump back to the home. I showed you that a little bit ago. You could create a new document, upload, download, print documents, and all the other options that are on the left side of the page but most of them are pretty straightforward and things like cutting and pasting and copying I do with a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but you may wanna know where to upload new documents and where to create new documents from scratch and pasting things to it right there. Another big benefit of Grammarly, and I use this all the time, is when you're on a browser-based website like YouTube here, and I'm just uploading a video writing my description, it just detects the typos as you type them, and you don't even have to right-click. I'm just hovering my mouse over, and I could simply change something just by clicking 
right on the suggestions. And then you see in this corner, you could see how many errors you have and the premium option gives you even more options. But the red one is showing me I have two problems here that I need to fix. So if I go through here, I could see that timeline is spelled incorrectly here. So I could select that here and then change it just like that. And the same thing, I have one more and I'll select over it and then change it just like that. And this works with not only descriptions, but when you comment on something and it will work on all social media, not just YouTube and all web-based applications too. But I hope you found this Grammarly video useful and you could use it to make your life on the internet a lot easier. Please give this a thumbs up. I post these type of videos every single day on this channel and I hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.